the payroll tax holiday. Will it or won't it get extended? And how is Washington going to pay for it? Let's go now to the nation's capital, to Washington editor Al Hunt. So, Al, I was just in Washington yesterday. Uh, a lot of people said, hey, this is a no-brainer that this should get done. But paying for it is the sticking point. Are we going to be talking about this up until Christmas? We may be here close to Christmas Eve, Margaret. Uh, I think you're right. It will get done. I think the House Republicans have put out a plan now, which will be unacceptable to Democrats on either side. Uh, Democrats will have a Senate plan. It's unacceptable. They'll start to compromise because the consequences of not doing is bad for the economy and bad for the, uh, bad for the politicians. The dilemma is really greatest among the GOP because their base in the House doesn't want any of these pay-fors and really doesn't even like the idea, but they are losing the fight with the public. So they're going to have to figure out how they can reach some kind of a face-saving compromise. All right. We've seen that the president with his countdown clock saying $1,000 tax hike for those making $50,000 a year. So that the, the pressure's on with the public. Um, but what about the public advocate or, or, or the agency that's supposed to be that, the, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau? Yesterday, Senate Republicans blocked the White House's nominee. Is, is the president going to appoint Cordry? Well, this is what's interesting. There's something called a recess appointment, which means when, when they block an appointment and a majority of the Senate was actually going to vote for uh, this nomination, but you're going to need 60 votes because everything is 60 votes now. They'll filibuster anything. So uh, if Congress is out of session, you can appoint someone until the end of the next Congress. And that's what the president wants to do. Senate Republicans are trying to figure out ways so that they never adjourn, sign, he dies. So they are not out of session, even though they're home. It'll be an interesting uh, uh, legislative gymnastics and see who wins on that. Al, what do you have on political capital tonight? Well, Steve Israel, the head of the House Democratic Campaign Committee, smart guy, uh, and also is the Democratic point person on there, and will make the case for why Democrats can win back the House of Representatives. Takes 25 seats, tall order, but he thinks they can do it.